I was super lucky to receive a plum paper planner, so I'm really excited to go through it with you and show you what's inside. I love the customization on the front, and the hard plastic seems robust enough to last in my book bag. However, it does seem a bit chunky. On the back we have a really lovely clear pocket and then we've got two cardboard pockets at the back as well. I got this lovely little pen loop that I thought would be a great addition because it doesn't come with a pen loop generally and I thought that if my planner gets any thicker that it would be able to keep the planner together for me. Okay, let's open her up. On the first page we have our name as usual, dates, and then we go into goals or special dates. I really like those ideas. Every month has a front cover which covers off a couple of cute ideas and then a monthly spread. We then go into my individualized weekly spreads which I've created and customized. At the back there is an expense and budget tracker as well as a reflections section every month. I absolutely adore that and this one goes from August to July. I then have a blog tab which keeps track of a whole bunch of different things around my blog. It has monthly overviews, advertisements, competitions or giveaways, expenses as well as income tracker and I really love that you can track it yearly. I then have a reflection section which is very much a replica of what I have in the monthlies. And then we go through to the last one which is our social media. It covers off types of goals that you want to achieve, monthly planner and statistics that you may want to keep track of. The last one I have is the meeting notes which I am really excited about and then there's a couple of spare pages in the back for passwords, contacts and special dates. It's pretty straightforward and like any planner it's pretty chunky considering it contains an entire year. For my planner I got a set of stickers which I'm really excited about. There are wellness stickers, there are blogging stickers, there are social media stickers and there are budgeting stickers as well as a whole bunch of really cute um, reflection stickers as well. I was pretty excited to use these and got straight into it. Something that does frustrate me a little bit about these stickers is they don't quite fit the boxes they've been created for. They're absolutely adorable, but I feel as though they could be a lot better by fitting the boxes that they were created for. You can see here that this one just doesn't fit on either end. The last thing I want to show you is my really cute little whiteboard that I got for social media tracking. And that's it for my plum planner. I can't wait to tell you how it goes. Thank you for joining us today. Please hit the subscribe button or follow us on Instagram at Maya Creative or The Art of Bujo. We look forward to seeing you there.